So for you Geminis, you have the Six of Cups, the Hermit, and you have the Queen of Swords. So Six of Cups, the Hermit. Hermit represents Gemini or Virgo, Six of Cups. People are coming back to y'all, uh, Geminis, trying to see what it is that y'all are about. And, <coughs> and the Queen of Swords. A lot of you are not having it. Um, a lot of you Geminis are realizing that it is a waste of your time to try to go back and forth try to make things work with somebody that wasted your time from the very beginning and then now you're trying to try it all over again and being very skeptical a lot of you Geminis are understanding that you know maybe it's better that you let certain things happen the way that they play themselves out the sun and the knight of pentacles is about how because it's all fun and good now it's all fun and games now until somebody essentially gets their heart broken. Because a lot of you Geminis understand that that's how it is that it usually plays itself out. With you Geminis, unfortunately, getting y'all heartbroken whenever it is that you do decide to take someone back, trying to come in again that you already knew from the past. And for whatever reason, it didn't necessarily work out. So you Geminis understand that, you know, you can't waste your time on something that coulda, woulda, shoulda but never did. The Knight of Pentacles represents this could, this person may seem like, you know, it, it may seem like this person is the right one for you. And it could seem like that because of many different reasons. One reason it could be because you Geminis are looking at it from, from, a rose colored glasses perspective in a sense that y'all understand that um y'all understand that uh you're looking at only the good things about the person but you don't realize that a lot of the stuff that the good things right that they're trying to make it seem like they are on how come they wasn't like that with you around the first time and see there's many see this is you know this this is what you Geminis are put here to understand. You Geminis are put here to understand within yourself, as well as other people, duality. That's what Gemini represents. Gemini represents duality, good, bad, good, evil, positive, negative, right? Opposite forces that strangely come together to make everything that is, right? Un you know, understanding moderation, you know, and that Dealing with a person when they decide to come back, like I said, may not necessarily be the best thing for you because what does it matter at the end of the day when these people, all it is that they're trying to do is ultimately just waste y'all time, right? Or the way that they played games with you from, from uh, the first time around. And you may have this mentality this time around that all it is that they're here to do is waste your time and play in your face and make it seem like they're not doing it when in actual application, they are doing it. The Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune represents getting out of the rat race because this is where the disappointment is for a lot of you Geminis. The idea that you see it like a sick game in the sense that this you can't hang around someone that you know that's coming back. You can't. For, for just based upon the fact that you're too familiar with them, you're not going back because it, it it starts to look like a cruel joke at the end of the day in the sense that it seems like only people want you to do is get involved with them so that they can find some way to break your heart and then double back and then try to convince you and do everything that they can <clears throat> to get you to not see things from a more different perspective because they want to be able to essentially do it again that's the sick cruel joke in it and a lot of you gemini's are not going for it you see it like the rat race you see it like why would you like you already have things that are the rat race your job or whatever you know why would you decide to be in another rat race with somebody that would waste your time you're not you're not so the hanged man now is about 
you, Geminis, understand that you'll take your time and actually get to know other people. You don't have to be in a situation with somebody that you already know. You already know them. And you knew that the first time around, it didn't necessarily even work the first time. So why would it work this time? And if you ask me, you Geminis have you Geminis have a right and a privilege to have this mentality. Because it's not like this this mindset that you Geminis have is coming from nowhere. It's just coming from a vacuum. No, you Geminis are learning to stay away from people that don't want to do anything but hurt you. Make, you know, going out of their way to inflict pain. Why? Just to be dysfunctional to you. Because you Geminis are, are stupid, according to them, for being in love and looking for love and looking for companionship and trying to have somebody that you can trust. Obviously, obviously, I'm sure you Geminis caught on by now. But that's sarcasm. That's the stu That's stupid, right? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's just that there's something wrong with them. But again, you already know how it is. People who have that type of mentality, right? Especially since you've already experienced them from before, getting to know them, you know how terrible they can go. And what would be even more diabolical, so to speak, or what would be more duplicitous, right? Would be if they did all of this other type of stuff just to be able to act like the, they're the knight of swords, they're your knight in shining armor, right? And act like they, you know, the two of you are supposed to, are destined to be together only for them to run the same game and play with your head and play in your face and disrespect you all over again. For them to stick to metaphorically stick the knife in your back again and go out of their way doing it again. That would be awful. That would be awful. So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the uh, two of wands. Matter of fact, let's clarify the six of cups. Chariot, Ten of Pentacles, Justice, and the six of wands. A lot of Cancer Crab energy here with the Wheel of Fortune. And then you have the Chariot. Yeah, it's showing you that this person is not the one, is what these cards are saying. They're not the person that you are really, that's right, that's a right fit for you because the chariot, there's gonna, if you were to get back together with them, there would be a doubt there in your, in you Gemini's mind for a while. Like, and you shouldn't live your life like this. It's better that you start establishing something with someone brand new because then you don't, you don't have to, you know, in case things don't in case things don't work out, you don't have to feel like a total jerk for thinking to yourself, I can't believe I done went ahead, wasted my time, tried it out with this person again after they betrayed me once. I didn't learn my lesson the first time, gave them a second chance, and then they then they metaphorically stuck a knife in my back again. Stupid of me right? You don't want to feel like that. So the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice now represents, you're looking for, the Ten of Pentacles represents the ideal relationship that you have in mind. You're looking for someone that is reciprocal, but you need to give to them and you need to give to us. You need to, you need to have them give to you. <laughs> these people that is now coming back, these people don't know how to give. So you Geminis are really wasting y'all time. The Ten of Wands now represents how, since that's the case, you Geminis also have to understand it's the best thing for you to, leave, to do is to leave them alone, right? They're not the one for you. You Geminis need to keep it pushing and get to know other people. You have a better chance at finding what you want with those people than you are with this person that you already know, know that you didn't work out with from before. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Thank y'all so much. We finally made it to 10,000. Let's make it to 20,000 now. Listen, smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. 
And I also want to go ahead and say, too, that I offer private tarot readings, you know. I offer private tarot readings, the link to all of that stuff, my private tarot readings, the books that I have that are on Amazon, my Instagram page, they're all in the link in the comment section below. Click on it. Check it out. Come get a personal reading from me.